Well, you can really tell it's summertime here now in North Carolina. The fruits and the vegetables are really coming off. It's unfortunate that we've got this 105 degree temperature today where everything needs extra water to grow and to mature. But I was lucky enough that my daughter gave me a couple pounds of just fresh figs yesterday. And she said, well, do you want to do something with these? And I said, sure. I said, let's make some jam with them. So um, they're coming off. I have a fig tree in the backyard and they're not close to even being what this is. So there, there's all different types of figs um, that you can cook with. Some, you, you know, you can cook them whole, you can have them, um, you can make jam, you can make preserves with them. So we're going to make a jam today and it's as simple as it can be. I've got about two and a half pounds of figs here. Um, I'm going to take the stems off of them, all off of them, and then I'm just going to cut them in half and maybe cut them in half again. I don't know, just chop them up a little bit. You don't want to chop, chop them up. Um, you can, some people even put them through a blender and get them where the texture, they still got texture to them. I don't like to do that because they get so mushy. Um, then they've got so much juice in them. So when you cook them down with the sugar and the lemon um, and the water, those are all your ingredients, um, they really do produce a nice mixture. So I don't like to chop mine down, but it's up to you how you want to do them. So. I'm going to go ahead and um, take these stems off and cut them down and let you take a look at them. That'll take me a while to get through these, but I'll bring you back to that. But there is one little secret with this recipe. Um, probably, I don't know, it was years ago, my son and I used to enter into the state fair contest, um, into the culinary contest with all of our different jams and pickles. We used to do a lot of canning together. And uh, one year he did these figs and he did fig I believe jam or preserves and he won first place and I said okay so what's the secret and he told me a secret and I'm gonna share that with you at the end of this video so I hope you'll stick with me um, it's really easy it's really fun um, if you've got some figs let's take the stems off of them and I'm gonna cut them up and we'll go from there so I'll be back Okay, just as I talked about, I'm just starting to cut off these stems and just cut it in half and cut it in half again. And you can put those right directly into your aluminum steel pot, so your cooking pot that you're using for your, your vegetables and your canning. And you just want to take off the very top of it there, cut it down, and cut it in half. Again, I mentioned that you know, some people decide that they want to pulp it up a little bit more, and you can put them into a blender um, and chop them up and get them a little bit more fine. Um, but I like the little chunky thing, and they do cook down a lot. So um, as you're cooking them, they will produce a lot more juice once you add the water and the sugar and the lemon juice to it. So I'm going to continue to do this and bring you back, and we'll start adding our simple recipe of um, a cup and a half of sugar and <clears throat> some lemon juice, a couple tablespoons of lemon juice, and also some water to it. Oh yeah, my secret sauce at the very end. I probably need to talk to my son about that. So um, anyhow, yeah, he had an award-winning fig jam recipe. So proud of him. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so we're back, and look what we got. We've got all these beautiful figs cut up. Um, they are just absolutely beautiful. Um, nice pot full of them. It's about two and a half pounds. Um, so sometimes you, you ask yourself how many pounds to a cup or how many cups to a pound. Again, refer down in my description. I have a chart that you can reference on all different types of fruits. And vegetables um, when you're picking them out in the field how many pounds will make how many cups um, so your recipes you can figure out from your recipes so anyhow we've got that two and a half cups of, of figs here and so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add my sugar which is two and a half cups of sugar and then I'm gonna stir this in really well um, and I am going to Looks like snow. Oh gosh, wouldn't it be nice to have a little snow right now? It's so hot outside. Today's temperature here, like I said before, was it's going to be 105. Um, 
So what you want to do is mix this up really well um, and let it stand for about 15 minutes. We'll let it rest for about 15 minutes before we add the water and the lemon juice to it. Um, and this will start to produce its own juices from this sugar. And then we're going to bring this, bring the whole um, recipe to a boil um, for about 20 minutes to get it nice and thick so it'll stand up on a spoon. And then we're going to jar it up. I already have my jars. Um, getting sterilized and they will be nice and hot and this will be hot and so we will have some excellent big jam. So go ahead and um, mix in your sugar and let it stand for about 15 minutes and then we'll be back. And again, if you want to refer to how many cups or how many pounds equals each other, I have that down in my description with everything else. So we'll be back. So while those figs are sitting for 15 minutes, I thought I'd take you over and show you a little bit of my collection. Um, what I've been doing um, to get ready for the state fair. Um, this is something I love to do every year, and again, my son and I started it years ago, and it's, um, it's not about the competition. I think it's more about the recipes and sharing the recipes with my family and things that we did um, years ago. So what I wanna do is take you and show you some of the recipes I've already done and tell you a little bit about the state fair. Okay, so some of my recipes, um, I love to keep them on this old wooden ladder. This was my dad's. Um, he did a lot of painting around our house. He never hired a painter. He was the, our painter, and um, you can see all the paint splashes and everything from it, but what I love about it is how sturdy it is. We, um, we don't see wooden ladders anymore, so it's a fun thing um, for me to keep in my Karen cave and display some of my recipes on it. So. Here we've got um, pickled watermelon rind, we've got cantaloupe jam, we've got blueberry syrup, we've got spiced apples, we've got some corn relish, um, again some spiced apples, and just um, this morning I canned some cucumber relish, so I'm really excited about that. That turned out really well. I've got some beautiful squash from my daughter's garden, um, and that jar of blueberry uh, syrup there is blueberry syrup with the fruit in it. Um, so I have some that's got some with the fruit and some without the fruit. Um, then I have pickled asparagus. I've got some peach jam down here. I've got some salsa and again, some more of those spiced apples. But I'm adding to it um, every day. And one of the fun things that I really enjoy is entering these into our state fair. So if your state has a culinary competition, you might want to um, Give it a try. Um, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of rules to follow, but um, it's something that you can just feel proud about and something that you can work towards every year. If you have any questions about our North Carolina State Fair and the rules and all the guidelines, I'd be glad to answer those. Just put them down in the comments and we can get together on that. So just a little bit of fun of what I'm up to in the Karen Cave. Okay, so look at our figs after 15 minutes. They have certainly gotten a lot nice and juicy from the sugar just sitting on it. So the next thing that we're going to do is add that lemon juice and some water. And I got the big no-no on telling you the secret sauce. So I guess we'll have to wait until after the state fair to see how it does. And um, I'll let you know then. But it's just a little extra yummy uh, to the recipe to just give it a little pick-me-up on it. So anyhow, um, I guess it would be kind of silly to give you the secret sauce before the competition. Anyhow, I, I would still like to encourage you to go ahead and check into the state fair to the culinary competition. It is so much fun. Um, your deadline is September 15, 15th in North Carolina to get your entry in and to what you're gonna enter. Um, there's all kinds of different things. It doesn't have to be canning. Um, it can be baking. It can be um, all types of just different culinary things. Cakes, cupcakes, uh, cookies, breads. Um, if you like to make bread or bake breads, um, there's that competition. But it's, it's just a whole lot of fun to uh, put your entry in there and um, give it a try. You never know. Um, we started doing it that way and it was just for fun and kind of got hooked on it. So I know their website is supposed to be ready um, August 1st, um, so you can apply online. Otherwise, um, you can do it through a paper 
paper form right now, but I know everybody likes the digital forms, but lots of different um, categories and lots of different opportunities. So again, I want to encourage you to do that and I'll let you know how um, the fig jam does and then the secret sauce will be revealed after that. So let's go ahead and um, get in two tablespoons of lemon juice. Um, this is freshly squeezed or you can just use the store-bought um, lemon juice that's in a bottle. So we're going to add two tablespoons of that and then we are going to add a half a cup of water. And then we're going to put this on um, the old chamber stove here and let it cook for about 20 minutes or until it stands up um, on your spoon. Um, you want it nice and thick when you, when you go to can it. Um, the other thing that you want to do is um, if it's not pulp to your liking, if you want to crush it down some more, get out that masher that we used in the, um, in the blueberry syrup. When you mash it down, you can do that. Um, so just to keep, um, I don't know, I prefer it to be a little bit more lumpy. I think the figs are really beautiful and I love to be able to see the seeds. So you know me, it's all about presentation. So let me get this up on the um, stove. We'll start it up here, get a nice pretty blue flame going and put this up on here and get it and bring it to a boil. Make sure you keep stirring it too. You wanna keep, keep stirring it so the bottom of it doesn't get um, boiled. I know on this stove, those um, burners get really warm. So give it a swoosh for about 20 minutes, see if it's nice and thick, and then we're gonna put it in some jars. Um, I'm using the hot water bath method today for 10 minutes, and um, I'm gonna can them up that way. I've got all my canning tools, my funnel, and don't forget to wipe your rims. So I'll be back after I get them all canned up. Remember, there's a way that you can also tell if your jam is ready to be jarred. Um, just take a small plate like this, stick it in the freezer for about five minutes, and then take a little bit of your jam and put it on the plate. This stuff is looking really yummy. And just see if it, if it stands up. Um, let it sit there for a few minutes and see what mine looks like there. And it's still got a little ways to go. It's kind of runny, so we'll try it again. But that's the way that you can tell when your jam is thick enough or if you, um, and it's ready to be put in the jars is to stick that plate in the freezer for about five minutes, put a little bit of it on top of there. And if it doesn't run as much as this, then it's ready. Okay, I've got my plate out of the freezer and I'm gonna give it another try. It's starting to look really thick and take just like a little tablespoon and just gonna put a little bit on the plate and dump it on there and let it set. And you can see it's not like running like the last one. It's just, it's very, it's, it's thick. It's thicker. So I think we're ready to do some canning. So I'm going to jar this up um, and then I'll be back. So before we get started, I do want to recommend my favorite book again. I am using the USDA home canning book. Um, it has amazing recipes in here. Um, this recipe is not directly from this book, but it gives you all the recommendations, especially if you think that you want to take the figs and can them whole. There's a whole different procedure than what we're doing here today. I am going to use a hot water bath um, here today for uh, 15 minutes on this. Um, we have added lemon to this, um, which helps with the acidity level of it. But if you're doing whole figs, you want to read about a making them acidified in this book. Um, it's very important that you do that. Um, and whole figs are excellent to can, but there's a whole different procedure because you wanna make sure that you're canning them the right way um, and that you're getting rid of those microorganisms that cause that botulism. So again, this book is um, my Bible for canning and it really has taught me a lot just by reading it and going through it. Um, you can use other recipes that are out on the web but when it comes to certain fruits um, and even doing meats and things like that, you want to know if you have to do a hot pressure cooker or if you can use a hot water bath. And I know some people just use that hot water bath all the time, but we want to be safe um, and not be sorry. So anyhow, look in my description below if you'd like to get a copy of this. I've got it there with a link and you can order it up. So let's get started. Taking my jars, 
out of the sterilization and adding that funnel into it and filling up these jars with this hot fig jam. Really turned out good. So remember that when you take this funnel out, you always want to wipe the rim really clean. I'm making a mess, I think, on the outside of this jar, but you want to get it to one-fourth head space on there. So that leaves the room for your canner, water bath to take that jar and pressurize it and put a nice pretty seal on it for you. You want to put your lid on, you get your rim, and you don't want to put this on really, really tight. You just want to do it nice and snug. Ooh, jar is hot. And like that. We'll put it over there. So keep going and um, we'll get our jars all canned up. And that's a wrap for today. Thank you for joining me in the Karen Cave. I really enjoy sharing my family recipes with you and I hope you'll continue to come back. Please subscribe to my page and give me a thumbs up for those that you like and leave your comments below. I look forward to next time. Until then, happy cooking.